Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And this challenge is the Game of Life Challenge. Stage one, the baby stage. Days one through 10. You are a newborn baby that needs special care. Make sure to give food and water to the family members whenever they request for it. Also, can't go scavenging because you still can't walk. Stage two, the child stage, 11 through 20. Congratulations, you are now a young child. You are very curious about the world and want to learn more about it. In this stage, you must scavenge for supplies whenever possible. Also, make a curious choice and always check things out whenever possible. For example, open briefcases, check out the bunker safe, etc. Stage 3, Teenager Stage, 21 through 30. Sup, bruh? You are now a totally rad teenager. Welcome to the world of acne and slang. You are developing your own view of life. You're a rebel. You must do the most violent, the most riskiest, the most aggressive, and the most thrill-seeking option possible. Attack the raiders, the teacher, the elders. It's just a prank, bro. Kill the spiders and the cockroaches. Bring weapons when scavenging. Also, don't help anyone when they ask for it. It's a social experiment, bro. Trade whenever possible because you want totally awesome stuff, bro. Stage 4. The adult stage, 31 through 45. Man, you're getting old. You are now an adult. You are at your prime. Do whatever the heck you want. You're an adult after all. Play the way you want to. Just do it. Stage 5. The elder stage. 46 through only God knows. I smell gravy. You are now a senile old man. You are lazy, weak, and you need special care. You just want to live the rest of your remaining life in peace. Scavenging is no longer possible due to your bad back. Say no to everything because you have bad hearing. Did you say something? You win this challenge by dying or being rescued. I mean buried. After round 60. Pancake is optional. And when they say optional, that means I'm totally getting pancake! Any rule about scavenging above does not apply to pancake. Good luck, Jay. Live a wonderful life. Before I start this challenge, that was fucking amazing. That was very well written. You deserve an award for that. Hopefully you're like an aspiring writer, because that was awesome. We are going to do this on normal. There is no criteria of what items we can and can't bring. No criteria of who can come with us in the shelter. So I don't think I'm going to take Mary Jane. I might take little Timmy and my waifu. You don't have the ginger hairs with me. So I'm also going to get a lot of water, a lot of food, and I'm a baby, right? We'll figure it all out when the time comes, but... I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna get real quick for the homie DJ Screw. So let's get the map. Let's get an axe. And let's get one soup. Just cause we can. I know my daughter is right there, but I'm sorry, daughter. I'm not gonna get you. Gotta get that gun, though. Gotta get that gun for show, though. Let's get the flashlight. Gotta get that gas mask, too. Because we don't know if the fallout outside is gone early on. So let's throw that in there. And there's young Tama. Also, get the padlock. I saw the Boy Scout book right there. Why is it always under something? You fap into that, Timmy? What the hell's wrong with you, bro? Throw that. Get the med kit for sure. Get it! Fucking Teddy. Get the water. And, you know, I get another piece of food. Where's the radio? Hold on, guys. Where is the radio? Where the fuck is the radio? It's on top of the fridge? What the fuck? I've never seen on top of there. Get the freaking radio! Yes! Run, dude! Fuck it! Ah! Chairs are all over the place, all over my face! Shit, should I get my daughter? No, psych, bitch, we're not! <laughs> Alright! We've got the things we need. We got the people we need. Let the game of life challenge begin! Alrighty, day one. Got Ted, got my gingers, got some pretty good stuff in the shelter. And the first stage is the baby stage. Days 1 through 10, you're a newborn baby that needs special care. Make sure to give food and water to the family members whenever they request for it. Also, you can't go scavenging because you still can't walk. So the first 10 days, I can't go out scavenging. So I need to remember that in my tiny little brain. And I also got some cards. And I need to give them food and water whenever they ask for it. So I need to make sure I read the beginning notes. This one should be pretty easy. I really like the way it was written because it was tailored to the stages of life. Because everybody's been through that stage. No news is good news. There's nothing going on with Timmy. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. All right. That is awesome. And nobody can go out scavenging. And we've discussed everything we could and no one is willing to chat anymore. The silence is really disturbing. We should do something before we start to talk to ourselves instead. Yes. And like I was saying, I like the way the challenge was written because we've all been through those stages of life. Like, we've all been babies, teenagers, and we've had that stage where, like, we want to be a rebel and do things our way. And it was really specific to those stages in life. And I got to give it props. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Dolores has to drink. Ted needs water. Okay, everybody needs water. There you go, my little babies. Nobody's going outside. 
and we felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat, a rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it, or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. We take the ax, and we just whack him across the face! Whatever it was, it's dead now. Better be dead, I whacked it across the face like 80 million times. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in those nasty little holes. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of the situation. He even seems cheerful. Dolores is calm, no new problems are troubling Ted. Everything is smooth sailing from here. And someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor Ned. We're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be that reason. Shall we open? I feel like this is Mary Jane, and I feel like I don't have enough water and food to accommodate her. Yeah, five cans of food and three and a quarter of water. Should I open it? Is there any rule where I have to say yes to everything? No, I just need to give food and water to everybody, and no scavenging. Okay, so I'm not gonna open that door. ex nay on the or day. Is that how you speak pig Latin? Or day? Instead of door? Or day? I don't know, guys. You guys know more about that than me. You guys can correct me in the comments below. The banging stopped after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? I'm pretty sure it was Mary Jane, and we're not gonna let her in. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being brave. Dolores is calm. No new problems are troubling Ted. Everybody is good. And more random notes. Day 6. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores has to drink sometimes. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Your wish is my command. And nobody's going outside. And we are not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get to it. We can't let it be here when we sleep. Another axe, another whack to the head. Bada bing, bada boom. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Timmy is hungry. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted is hungry. Everybody eat some soup. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. Okay, it's the twins, or it's a solicitor that's doing one of those, like, advertisement calls. But I can't go outside. Oh, it says I can't scavenge, but just to honor it, because this challenge is so well written, I am not gonna send anybody outside. That's just who I am. I, I follow the rules, okay? My teachers, they didn't think I followed the rules back in school, but I follow the rules now. So everything's A-OK. -okay. And everything's good with Timmy. Everything's good with Dolores, and Teddy Boy is A-OK. -okay. And that trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. All right, let's slap it up with the Boy Scout book. I never use the medicine for that situation, only because you can use the Boy Scout book over and over again, but when you use the medicine one time for the homie DJ Screw, it's gone. It's like, pfft, just gone. Vanish in thin air like a fart. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, Harry had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with them again. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Okay, everybody needs to drink. So, I got you. Nobody can scavenge, at least for a one more day. There's nothing more annoying than silence, and that's all we're getting from our radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we can do with the radio to make it work again? We sure know staring at it won't help. Nope! Every time you tinker with the radio, I have a bad feeling about that. I think more than 50% of the time, the radio gets screwed up when you try to, like, mess with it to make it work. So, no thank you. Everything's good with Timmy, though. Dolores is good. Ted is good. And this is our last day of the baby stage, so I can prepare to scavenge. And more random notes. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on stage two, the child stage, days 11 through 20. Congrats, you are now a young child. You are very curious about the world and want to learn more about it. In this stage, you must scavenge for supplies whenever possible. Also, make the curious choice and always check things out whenever possible. For example, open briefcases, check out bunker safe, etc. Okay, so we gotta be a little curious George in this bitch. So we are good. And I'm gonna send out Timmy to go outside. He is going to use the gas mask and clasp our hands together. Good luck, Timmy. Day 13. We can barely breathe in this damn shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeable worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck? If that's the case, we need to look into fixing it right away. Okay, flashlight is a bad idea. I remember Ted got sick after that. Boy Scout book, not really the best idea. I think the bug spray is the best one. I can't remember though. Come on guys, please. Say it with me. Don't get sick Ted, don't get sick Ted. Yes! He's not sick. He's still looking pretty as hell. 
We decided to spray the hell out of that vent just to be safe. Turned out it was the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out, followed by a gust of fresh air. Yes! I love gusts of fresh air, my favorite type of air. And more random notes. Okay, Timmy's been gone for a couple of days. Um, I- really, Oh, Nick what? Oh my god. I forgot to give them water. I forgot to give them water! Shit! Oh my god! I deserve a slap for that. I deserve to get- <laughs> Wow! I forgot to give them water! I was so hyped up and thinking about Timmy! Look at Timmy! I was thinking about this guy! This is the guy I was thinking about. All right, we are going to fast forward, do a second playthrough. We're going to end up back on day 16. And this time, I promise you, I won't forget to give them water. Okay, guys, I am back. I apologize for fucking up like that. That hasn't happened in a very long time. And speaking of things that happened while I was gone, we had Pancake. We shined the flashlight, and he started barking. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And now we came back. We gave him a can of food. So all we need to do is give him water and a med kit. But we don't have a med kit. So we need to make sure that Timmy comes back with one. And a traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the end of the world. Offers one can in exchange for cards. Offers one water in exchange for board. Offers two cans of food in exchange for the gas mask. Offers four water in exchange for the gun. Do I have to say yes to every single event? Let me see. Uh, I'm a young child. I'm curious. I only have to check things out. And like briefcases, bunker safe, stuff like that. But I don't have to say yes to any situation. So no thank you. And this is where I left off in the first playthrough. I died on day 16. But we have made it. And we are going to make it. I promise you guys we're going to make it. The trash can is becoming full of empty suit cans. And that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Let's use the Boy Scout book and kill whatever the fuck that is that's inside of that trash can. They're going to be dead. Day 17. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Well, one of the challenge rules said that I have to open any suitcase, so please don't be a booby trap. I can't afford to get hurt right now. And Timmy's back, yes. Ah, oh, Ted's sick! Fucking butthole! Okay, what did he bring back? Two water, and that's it? What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Here, eat some food. And prepare to scavenge. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past. Okay, answer it, Dolores. Hopefully it's the twins. I really need to send somebody out to scavenge because I need the med kit. Pancake is optional, but I'll be sad as hell if we don't get them. And is it the twins? Yes, the twins from Hill Valley. Perfect. So let me send people out. And then, wait, what's this? Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. Yes, give them the water. Hopefully they can give us a med kit. A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests are grateful anyway. And that's it? They're just grateful? Fuck being grateful! Can grateful heal my wounds? No, it cannot! Let's give this to Dolores because Ted is sick anyway. I mean, give the food to... Actually, give the food to nobody. We don't need to give them food right now. And this is a good day to go outside. Ted, you're gonna go out and I'm not gonna give you anything. And with that said, we are on the teenager stage. Days 21 through 30. Sup, bro? You're now a totally rad teenager. Welcome to the world of acne and slang. You're developing your own view of life. What do I need to do? You need to do the most violent, the riskiest, the most aggressive, and the most thrill-seeking option available. Attacking raiders, the teacher, the elders. Kill the spider and the cockroaches. Bring weapons when scavenging. Also, don't help when they ask for it. Trade whenever possible because you want totally awesome stuff, bro. Okay, so since I sent somebody out on day 20, and didn't have them, you know, bring a weapon while scavenging. That didn't count because I did it on the child stage and at the teenager stage. So when I send somebody out to scavenge, then I'll have them have a weapon. And right now, Pancake came back today very agitated about something. He really wanted us to get out and follow him somewhere in the neighborhood. This seems a bit risky, but maybe Pancake's on the trail of something big. What gear should we take? Okay, do I need to choose the most violent, riskiest, aggressive option? And it says any rule about scavenging above does not apply to Pancake. Okay, I need to choose the riskiest, aggressive, thrill-seeking option possible. You can make an argument for each of these things, so whatever answer I come up with is subjective. It's it's all opinion-based. Taking the axe with me, is that the most thrill-seeking? Taking the gun with me, is that the most aggressive? I think thrill-seeking, you want to know where you're going, right? Right, guys? Right? You want to know where you're going when uh, you go with Pancake? So I'm going to choose that one. If you guys want to crucify me for that, well, then you guys can suck my balls! Because I feel like that's the best option to choose. And we got three cans of food from that. Hip, hip, hooray! And nobody's gonna eat or drink. 
We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone's still alive and kicking. Uh, let's go. I'm alive and kicking. Come and rescue me, military. Day 23. After Dolores returned from that last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. Foot injury, say no more. Take the axe because it's the most aggressive and chop that ginger foot off. And she still has her foot, so I guess we didn't chop that ginger foot off. If there was one thing we would never consider, it would be cutting off any part of Dolores with an axe. What? I want to cut it off. Not only would she object to this, she would probably take matters and the axe into her own hands. What did she do? The operation wasn't pretty, though, and we damaged our axe. Damn, that's one hell of a foot if you broke an axe. Shit! And Ted is not back. Where the hell is he? Okay, let's listen closely. Hopefully Ted opens the bunker door. No? Where are you, Teddy? Day 25. We need medical supplies and what we have is a bad joke. Time to do something about it. That bug spray is just standing there and we don't use it to make any drugs? This is an amazing idea. Oh my god. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Now we can get Pancake inside of our shelter. And Ted's back. Hello, Ted. You look sick as hell, but you know what? I love you, baby. And we made the med kit. Ted returned safely from his voyage. And he brought back two waters, two cans of food, and a suitcase, and an axe. Damn, he brought back a lot. Made my damn nipples hard. So let's give him that. And prepare to scavenge again. And more random notes. So this time when I prepare to scavenge, I'm going to send out Dolores. She is going to bring the suitcase, the axe, and the gas mask. And I have to I have to have a weapon every time I'm scavenging during the teenager stage and everybody's hungry Well, you guys can wait just a little bit longer, right? So Dolores you are going to bring El Suitcaso Where is it? There's the El Suitcaso. You're gonna bring El Axo and El Gas Masco. You guys like my Spanish? Day 28. Oh no, Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. Say no more, badly wounded. Give him the medkit. Bada bing, bada boom. And did I say bada bing, bada boom instead of bada bing, bada boom? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm too excited for Pancake. He's back in the shelter. He got a big ass head. Looking at Timmy like he wants to eat his ass for dinner. But we got him, so I'm happy about that. We lost the medkit, but it's A-OK. -okay. And let's give them nothing because we're all right. And this bandit camp nearby is causing lots of trouble. Not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty, they're also loud and obnoxious. We respect their right to pot, eh? But not at the cost of our beauty sleep. Something needs to be done. We'll take the gun, shay, and go. All right, let's see what happened with those bandits. We bravely storm into the camp, screaming insults and threats at the top of our lungs. Sadly, there was no one there to appreciate our courage. It looks like the bandits went raiding and left the camp, thinking no one would dare get close to it anyway. But not us! We fearlessly collected whatever we could from their supplies and courageously ran back to the shelter. We think it's the ultimate proof that we're not in danger. We are the danger! Fear us! And we got one bug spray. What the frickin' do? And give them some of this. And a few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. Okay, we just got the bug spray, but we have to use it now. I feel like this is the riskiest one to use because it is poison. You could potentially get poison yourself. So that is my explanation of why I'm choosing that. And with that said, we have passed the teenager stage and we are now on the adult stage. Days 31 through 45. Man, you're getting old. You are now an adult. You're at your prime. Do whatever the heck you want. You're an adult after all. Play the way you want to. Just do it. All right. Now it's time for Jay to get freaky, and I'm going to play this the way I want to. So we lost the bug spray, but everything is A-OK. -okay. Uh, Dolores brought back the suitcase, and she lost the gas mask, and she lost the axe. And that's it? You didn't bring back anything? What the fuck, Dolores? What the hell's wrong with you? You know what? Here, take that. The note we found on the door today was a real surprise to us all. It's not signed, but it says that whoever wrote it has been observing us for a while and believes we're on the right kind of people. We're the right kind of people? We killed bandits! They instruct us to send a single unarmed representative to a meeting today at midnight to find out more. Should we send someone? Hell to the motherfucking yeah! Timmy, you better be on your best behavior. And I hate it when you stutter, Timmy! When you're like, dad, 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 dad. Hopefully he didn't do that because we need Timmy to be awesome, okay? It's true, it's all true. There really are others like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins. Yay! I love the twins. The twins are my favorite. So we're not gonna prepare to scavenge? You know what we will. Fuck it. YOLO. That's how I would do it. We couldn't get a clear signal from the radio until midday, but after we turned on the military broadcast, we were left speechless. Oh, they want us to get rid of our weapons in order for us to rescue them. So, the way I would play it is I would get rid of my gun because I want to get rescued ASAP 
and you're never gonna get rescued by the military unless you just completely throw away all your weaponry. Okay, now is the moment of truth. Timmy is the only one who can go outside. I'm not gonna give him anything to scavenge with. Hopefully, he comes back because if he doesn't, I have a feeling that Ted is gonna die pretty soon and Dolores is gonna go crazy. But we have cute little pancake with us, so maybe she might not get so crazy. And random notes, but we'll be just a-okay and hopefully we can beat this. Pancake seems eager to run outside for a while. Maybe he will bring back something interesting. Yes, let him out so he can go pee-pee and he can go poo-poo and he doesn't do it in the shelter because everybody's gonna be like, oh, what's that smell? Oh, see, look, Ted, he's like, oh, what's that smell? What did he bring back? He brought back a gas mask? How the fuck did Pancake find a gas mask? Fuck it. <laughs> That's awesome. Our ammunition is missing. There's no way it was stolen, so it has to be here somewhere. We need to find it. All right. Use the flashlight, and hopefully we find that. Oh, wait, there's an ammo right there. I saw it behind Dolores' head. We were missing the ammo, and then Ted died. Fuck you, Ted. I never liked you anyway. Ted has been sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep, and apparently became a skeleton in the process. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Yeah, even though your husband just died, you have nothing to complain about. Yeah, you're just fine. She's doing quite well, and her husband died. She's probably cheating on him with the pool boy. Today, we were visited by a strange-looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. He insists his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. <laughs> the least we could do was take a look at his offer, although for some reason we don't really trust him. He offers the med kit for a gun, even though we threw away the gun, te loca. He offers the medicine for the radio and an axe for a padlock. Fuck. That's actually really good. What the hell? But you know what? I might need the padlock just in case scavengers come. So I will say no. And I didn't mean scavengers. I meant raiders. They're the, they're the same thing, right? Raiders come because they want to scavenge. And Timmy's a little sad. Yeah, I'd be sad too if my dad was a skeleton like two feet away from me. And what'd you bring back, Timmy? Two food. And that's it? Two food and that's it? That's it, man? Fine, I'll give you some of this. And... We're almost certain there are bandits around. Running into them would be a huge mistake. Okay, I'm not going to prepare to scavenge. And we are never huge fans of mushrooms. Nope, no mushrooms. No bueno. Day 42. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They wanted to send one person out to meet them. Sounds like some kind of precaution or a trick. We hope we know what we're getting into. Who should we send? All right, Dolores is the only one we can send because Timmy is crazy. He's wearing a suit can for a hat. I mean, who the fuck does that? Only Timmy would, right? But we went to the meeting. Hopefully we get rescued pretty soon because the adult stage is almost over at day 45. Oh wait, I didn't even read what happened. Uh, we try to do our best to answer the questions. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations and our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. I don't think the ragged appearance would make a bad impression. I think it's the smell because I'm pretty sure the whole family smells like ass. I'm pretty sure that whole bunker smells like complete shit. So we are not going to send anybody out because there's bandits around still. And more random notes. Okay, it's the last day of the adult stage. There are still bandits around, so I'm not going to prepare to scavenge. And today during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they're all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. Yes, open the safe. And with that said, we are on the elder stage. Days 46 to only God knows. You smell gravy. You're now senile old man. You're lazy, weak, and need special care you just want to live the rest of your life remaining in peace scavenging is no longer possible due to your bad back say no to everything because you had bad hearing did you say something you win the challenge by dying or being rescued after round 60 okay so after round 60 i can get rescued all right so we are gonna make it and behind the safe was a can of soup so we are not gonna send anybody out because there's still gunfire and screams and more random notes so it says say no to everything but it says the only way i can complete this challenge is if i either die or get rescued and getting rescued you have to open the door to something so i think i'm gonna choose one time for the homie dj screw i'll have one yes option and that's if i can time the exact moment when uh, the soldiers or the twins come so i'll have one opportunity to guess right because sometimes banging on the door could either mean bandits or you're getting rescued. So I'll choose one option, or I'll have one free option of saying yes to something. 
During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as Old Bum Jim. No, fuck Old Bum Jim. I have to say no to everything. Day 48. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? Fuck no! Okay, it's day 51 and Timmy destroyed the Boy Scout book because he's just a crazy little bitch. And I also need to give the Boy Scout book to the siblings, but that's bullshit because I don't have it now. That had to happen on the same day that the siblings wanted it. I couldn't give it to them anyway because this is the senile stage and I can't get rescued. So actually, wait, after day 60, I can get rescued because it said you can get rescued after day 60. So I just have eight more days and then I can say yes to the siblings if need be. But I think the soldiers, they should be coming any day now, so we'll be alright. The more we know about what's going on outside, the better for us. But I can't use the radio, so no spank you. Day 53. We woke up to the sound of banging on our door. Someone has been at it like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? You guys remember how I said I have one chance to say yes to opening the door for the military or the twins? I am 100% sure that those are raiders, so fuck you raiders, I'm saying no to that one. Okay, it is now day 58, there's a quiet knock on our door, it's a suitcase, we have to say no to that. I do have a problem though guys, I have 0.25% of a water bottle left, and I have two people here that need water, so this is gonna be bad. I think I'm gonna have to give it to Dolores because obviously without an adult you fail the whole game. And when emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. No thank you! And after day 60, we can start to get rescued, so this should be good. And then Timmy left because I couldn't give him any water, so that's some bullshit bull. But it's okay, we have Dolores with us, so we'll be alright. And we're good with that! So we completed the Game of Life challenge. Now it says after day 60, you can get rescued. So, I am going to try to get rescued. Hopefully it's soon because I don't have any more water. Uh, should I send somebody out? Nope. And we were happy to host the siblings and a few of their friends today when they visited our shelter. They want the Boy Scout book. I'm sorry! I can't give you the Boy Scout book! Please! Somebody give me a bottle of water for my thirsty ass! Day 62. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today. The numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from a local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building. Yes. Please, give us some water. We need that water, Dolores. That is plan numero uno to get the water. Damn, you didn't get any water, but you got bloody handprint on the wall. What the fuck is wrong with you, Dolores? We got a gun, though. She Take that gun, though. And someone's at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they have been banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news. Maybe it's bad news. Should we open the door? Okay. Day 63. YOLO, bitches. YOLO, bitches. Hands in the air like I just don't care. Come on. The end. The end. Yes! It's the soldiers, baby! That's how we fucking do it! I'm that dude! Woo! We got rescued by the soldiers. Thank you. Thank you. I drooled a little bit because I'm so fucking excited. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> we fucking did it! You survived! Dolores and Pancake, the ultimate duo! Woo! I'm really happy about that one. We completed the Game of Life challenge and we got rescued after day 60. That was a really well written challenge. I love doing it. Thank you so much for writing that. I will be doing one of the ones you guys write in the comment section below of this video in the next 60 seconds challenge video. Holy shit, that took a lot out of me to say. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jake from the Cub Scouts is dead too.